Hey everybody, it's Lance again, Mobile Detailing Edmonton. A little update today. Uh, we're at that all important part now where it's time to do the speakers, uh, figure out what we're gonna go with. So we already talked about how we're gonna do the speaker wire installation for in wall, on the wall, and then we're gonna buy Bose speaker wires, but uh, it's gonna go through all the things I bought so you guys can see exactly what we're installing. And again, yeah, just a little heads up, see what's going on. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, sorry for the quality of lighting in here. It's pretty bad, but uh, it's just gonna show you. So for in the wall, we've got the Rocket Fish 100 footers. Where's it at? Ah, focus. Yeah, anyway, that one's done. Now we're on to the next one. So we've got another 100 foot spool of cable. Ah, here it is. So this is the Rocket Fush 16 gauge uh, speaker wire, 100 footer. Um, it kind of went Rocket Fish everything. Now I did buy a 12 foot uh, Rocket Fish HDMI 4K and I've already ran it through my piece of PVC. That's the tail end of it and what I did was I just got a couple 90s, fished it around through the ceiling and then it drops out right here. So, can't really see it, but uh, there's the wire coming down right there. Anyway, the whole point of that was in case in the future I ever do decide that I want to have something else fished over to the projector. Super easy, I don't have to dig out the drywall, I don't have to poke holes and do all that other crap. I'm going to make a really cool little circular, uh, it's a piece of PVC that has little clips on the end I found. And it has little, uh, it's almost like cut plastic, so you can fish things through and it still looks pretty tight. Um, as far as Bose speaker wiring, we were talking about possibly putting in a Bose system, the Kustamass 10 or something like that. I, <laughs> I like the Bose, um, but I bought the wiring and I spent the better part of a couple hours trying to unspool the, just the rat's nest of wires that I had bought. I found this really cheaply on Kijiji and, um, yeah, I undid it all. We do have a problem though. This is the main wiring harness loom for the subwoofer that connects the subwoofer and all the speakers together to the receiver, as you can see there. The problem is, is that it's supposed to go there. Okay, the subwoofer. Always want it in front of you. The problem is, is when you run it up there and then you run it over to here, that's as far as it goes. I still got all the way over there and then down and then over to there where the rest of the speaker wire is. So we got a little bit of a problem there. I'm trying to get a hold of Bose, trying to get a hold of them to see if they have a longer, uh, I don't even want to call it a command module, command wire, longer wire harness basically. Anyway, that's what's going on right now. Uh, some other thoughts that I had were that I bought this guy. It's a subwoofer cable. Some subwoofers actually require an RCA cable. Um, so we bought one of those. And then we bought this, which is the speaker mounts for the Bose systems if we decide to go with them. We're gonna hold on to those. If we don't decide to go, then we can always return it. But yeah, so bang, bang, got that guy down there, subwoofer wire, which is, I thought was weird, but I guess that's the technology these days. Um, 100 foot, like I said, we're up to 200 feet now. Um, we have ran the speaker wire. You can see a little bit of it right there. So I ran it there. I've dropped it down right there. I'm gonna, well, there's the pigtail of it. And then the center channel speaker, I ran it really low just in case we go something crazy. Um, the second one for the right side audio, well, it's right there. It's just hidden behind here, so I'm gonna have to make sure that I push it over. And then we're gonna have a speaker wire here, and then one over there, and then one there, and then one there uh, in the ceiling. That way, if we do want to do something in the ceiling, more of a directional push out to me, uh, we can uh, in the future, because spent maybe a hundred bucks on speaker wire, so, um, 
it's not that expensive in comparison to everything else we're doing down here. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick update. I'll show you guys what it looks like once we're all done. You know what would be super cool? Is if this was actually what they said it was. Because I got my doubts. Let's open it up. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be the Bose cable extension. I haven't seen it yet. Please God be the right thing. What the hell is that? Okay, so, moral of the story is, it's not what I wanted. It's not the extension that I need. And uh, I don't know if it's going to work. That sucks. It really does. So, I may have to reconfigure where the subwoofer goes in the basement. It is the right cable. I am so friggin' happy. Let me show you what it does. It's so easy. Oh my God, I thought it was a computer cable at first. And now that I look at it, it's like a thousand pounds off my shoulders. This is the cable I've been waiting on so the drywallers can start. So if you're like me and everybody else and you have the Acoustamass Bose system, you've got this piece. This piece is what plugs in to the bottom of the subwoofer to run everything over to the main control unit i.e. your receiver. This is the extension that they sent me. And when I saw this, I was like, that looks like a freaking computer hookup. So yeah, I was a little bummed out. But apparently this piece is the female connector to the Bose system. Let's hook it up. And with the magic of videos, we're done. Literally, male connector, female connector, Screw this in, screw this in. I'm gonna put some tape around it because we're fishing it behind the vapor barrier like all the other ones. And then we're gonna run it down our ladder that we had made to hide the gas line. And then we're gonna run it across and into the mechanical room. So, yeah, that's what we're doing now. So let's start fishing lines and getting everything set up. Again, once this is in the walls, it's in. That's the way she goes. If we decide to not use a Bose system in the future, well, the wiring harness is there and that's just the way it goes because I'm not going to be able to pull it back out. But for now, this is a great alternative until I can afford to do a super nice in-wall system, which I really want, but pick your battles, I guess. Okay, so there you have it. Bose extension cable came in in a pinch and again, it is exactly what I needed. I don't know what I was thinking. I did use some tuck tape because I had to run it through the wall and uh, make sure that the screws didn't unscrew um, or grab the insulation. I ran, it's that black cable. I ran it all the way down through there, started crossing it over here. And then basically from there, it's going into all the PVC and I haven't shown you guys lately the new setup, but, oh, super hard to see in here. But basically, I've used some two inch PVC to grab all the speaker wires that I had back there to run them through to here, and then screwed them into the wall with those screws. I ran that PVC for the um, projector to fish any walls or any, any lights, whatever. Here's the plug-in, <coughs> and yeah, sorry about coughing. Anyway, and then to update you, this is where the projector is going to sit. Now originally, we were going to put it here, but that seemed kind of low budget. So, I built this. It's a little knockout into the next bedroom. I've got the 2-inch PVC. It's going to bring down the USB, 4K USB there. There is the power plug-in. And then if I need anything else, I could always bring it in from there. But it didn't really cause any problems for this side. I'm going to build a little access. Well, I'm not going to build it. I'm going to buy a uh, panel to put in here as an access panel for in the future. If I want to be able to get into the back of the projector, I can. But that is the view that we're going to get. 
146 inch projector screen 4K. Awesome. Okay, I finally ran all the speaker wires. What we got is we got a speaker here, the speaker there, like I was saying we're gonna do. Zoom right in, boom. We got one there and one going there. And then over here, what we've done is ran a speaker wire down. There's the pigtail for it right there. I don't know if you can make that out or not. But uh, anyway, it's right there. Boom, sorry, camera sucks. <laughs> anyway, and for now, the Bose speaker is there. The uh, center channel speaker wire is there. Uh, Bose speaker wire is there. And then the far speaker ran into a little bit of a concern. Because this and this were too close to house anything of substance, I ran the speaker wire on this side of the 2x4 wall, so that way I could put a speaker system there. I have been looking at this one speaker. It's big, square, and then the speakers project out. You can actually move it up and down to give it a cool uh, angle. So I'm kind of contemplating that as well. But yeah, that is the entire speaker system. Oh, and of course, the cable for the subwoofer, if we do go with a non-Bose system, there's a subwoofer cable, and just in case it does need a speaker wire, I have ran that as well. So, trying to think of every single scenario. Anyway, that is the entire speaker wire setup. Um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, still waiting on some more reviews, some more suggestions from you guys on which speaker system to go with. I would love to hear them. Absolutely love to hear them. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. And uh, that's the update on the speaker wire installation. It's all ran.